Suspension Most people think that the main role of suspension in a vehicle is to provide ride comfort, which is not true. Suspension, since its early days, is introduced in vehicles to maintain the contact of wheels with the road, no matter what the road conditions are. So there is always traction to move the car forward and to control it better. Comfort even though is important, but it is secondary. There are two types of suspension systems. First is spring plus shock absorber type, which is found in most cars and bikes. And second is air suspension. Air suspension is topic for another video. In this video series, we'll focus on spring plus shock absorber type of suspension systems. People generally ask that what is better, stiff or soft suspension? Answer is not that simple. So I show them this. This spring is a dual red coil spring of a suspension system. This portion behaves soft and this portion behaves stiff. And this is a progressive spring. Initially it is softer and as the load increases it becomes stiffer. These types of springs are what you will find in most cars and bikes. So what would you say using these springs in suspension system will make the suspension stiffer or softer? Asking stiff or soft suspension is a dumb question cause both are two directions apart and your car suspension is tuned to behave differently in different conditions. So it would be like this or like this depending upon the situation. The companies have special departments for just tuning the suspension. If the car is designed in Europe and it comes to Asia, engine, chassis, features all can remain same but the suspension is always retuned. Even few companies tune their car with manual transmission with stiff suspension systems and automatic with softer suspension setup. So it's not like stiff suspension or soft suspension is better, it depends on the road conditions and the way you're gonna use your car or bike. What companies tune is by an estimate of users and road condition. And it's not very personalized, but you can tweak the suspension of your car according to your needs to improvise some of its characteristics. This topic is long, so I'll split it in three videos. In first video, we'll see the springs and its types and how it behaves in different scenarios. In second video, we'll see the shock absorbers. And in last one, we'll see the setup and assembly of suspension system using spring and shock absorbers. So without further wasting time, let's untangle the suspension system. Spring in a suspension system is what gives the stiff or soft character to the suspension. Stiffness or softness is decided by the spring rate, that is load per deflection. This means a spring having spring rate of 100 kg per centimeter means it compresses by 1 centimeter when the load of 100 kg is applied and 2 centimeter when 200 kg is applied and so on. If the rate increases like 150 kg per centimeter then the spring is stiffer making the suspension stiffer and if the rate lowers like 70 kg per centimeter the spring becomes softer making the suspension softer. There are four types of springs mostly used in automobiles. First is leaf spring, second is coil spring, third is torsion bar and fourth is rubber. Leaf springs are found in old automobiles and nowadays only found in heavy vehicles and off-roaders. It is just a bent metal strap which when loaded deflects like this and at removal of load it regains its shape. Compared to coil spring it consumes more space and also adds a lot of weight. However the load gets distributed in all the extra material which it has increasing the fatigue strength and ultimately offering better life. And that's worth when the vehicle has to travel long distances or have to handle the extreme situations. Even tuning leaf spring is actually easy. Just by adding more leaves you can make it stiffer or by changing the curvature you can tune it. By varying the length, breadth and height of the leaf or by changing the shape of the spring you can tune it. You also might have seen this type of leaf springs where few leaves are held together and other overhangs. This is a step progressive red leaf spring. Initially at low loads it is softer as only these springs deflect and at higher loads this overhanging springs comes in contact with the above leaves. So to deflect the spring any further all these springs need to be pushed up increasing the stiffness. So at lower loads the suspension is softer and at heavier loads it is stiffer. Tapered leaf spring is also one of the progressive type of leaf spring where it is initially softer and it becomes stiffer as the load increases. You can make progressive leaf spring in this setup also by varying the curvature of the leaf springs gradually. Second is coil spring that is mostly used in light and medium weight vehicles and you'll find it in most cars. It is just a bent wire in a helical shape. It is lot more compact than a leaf spring and it also weighs less. There are three types of coil spring according to the spring rate. First is constant rate having constant spring rate throughout the loading. Second is progressive where stiffness increases as the load increases. Third is dual rate where a part is softer and the other part is stiffer. Both work together simultaneously. 
To vary the rate of the spring, the spring diameter, wire diameter, coil diameter, pitch are varied. Torsion bar is a type of spring that deflects torsionally means by twisting force. A mechanical linkage is used to convert the linear motion of the wheel to rotational motion and this rotational motion is given to the torsion bar. The linear displacement of the wheel twists the bar, storing the energy in it and the bar tries to regain its shape back, restoring the position of itself and also the wheel. The torsion bar is generally used in suspension systems where a stiffer setup is required. A straight shaft works as a constant rate spring, a tapered bar works as progressive spring and a multi-material or two diameter shaft has a dual rate. The stiffness and softness can be varied by changing the material, diameter and the length of the bar. Last is rubber spring. Rubber is generally not found as an independent spring, rather it is used as supporting means helper spring to the main spring. It has better capacity to weight ratio and it also doesn't need a shock absorber. Now as you know the basics, let's see how spring behaves in different conditions and what fits best to your needs. The unloaded length of the spring is more, what you see is a compressed spring due to the weight of the car. Now let's take some scenarios. Let's consider two identical cars, each weigh 2 tons, with 50-50 weight distribution to the front and rear, which means each wheel gets 500 kg of force on top of it. One of the car has a spring with a spring rate of 100 kg per centimeter and other has a spring rate of 50 kg per centimeter, means the second one is softer. When a car approaches a pothole, the car is in the air for a moment due to momentum. The spring compressed due to the vehicle weight expands and hit the roads beneath to maintain the wheel traction and to get out of that pothole. More the force the wheel can maintain, better it is for traction. If the pothole is 2 cm deep, then the stiffer spring will expand 2 cm, losing 200 kg of force and putting only 300 kg of force, while a softer setup will just lose 100 kg of force by expanding 2 cm, putting the force of 400 kg giving better traction. So if you have a good ground clearance to your car, a softer suspension is better for potholes, not only for comfort but also for drivability. Let me clarify one thing here. The situation explained here is considering the car is moving, where momentarily it is in air due to momentum. If the spring doesn't expand quick enough or long enough, then that side of the car will dip down due to overpowering gravity and again the spring will be compressed with 500 kg of load on top of it, dipping the car in that direction. And if the car stops in a pothole, then obviously it's gonna dip down. So this phenomenon of expanding spring in potholes is what you will see when the car is in motion. Now let's consider the second scenario where there is a 2 cm bump and the car approaches it. The momentum gets converted into the force compressing the spring. If the force due to slow momentum is 200 kg, a softer suspension will be better in this scenario cause just 100 kg of force on a wheel will absorb the whole bump and stiffer suspension on other hand will compress just by 1 cm by this force and the car will rise by 1 cm tumbling you inside. So softer spring is better on bumps at low speed. But same stiffer spring is better when the vehicle is loaded or is at high speed cause at that time the momentum is more. So when the car will hit the same bump at higher speed, there will be more momentum, hence there will be more force compressing the spring. In this condition, stiffer suspension will compress more easily and a softer suspension in such condition will compress excessively which may lead to the collision of bottom of the car with the room. The next scenario is of cornering at high speed where body rolls comes into play. A stiffer spring makes turning more comfortable and gives more confidence to the driver, while softer spring gives more body roll. That's why sports cars have stiffer suspension. One more advantage of stiffer suspension is that it doesn't change height of the vehicle much even in different road conditions which is very important for aerodynamic characteristics of a car as the aerodynamic characteristics of a car works best in certain narrow range of ride height. Even while acceleration and braking, the pitching effect is also more in soft suspension than in stiff suspension. That is why most cars don't use a constant spring rate suspension, rather they use a progressive or dual rate spring, where most of the soft part gets compressed due to weight of the car, few remaining gets compressed by your weight and the speed bumps. And for any loads above that, the softer part cannot work, cause the coils get tightly compressed so that portion cannot work anymore and the only stiff part of the suspension acts then. At potholes, this compressed soft suspension expands, giving better traction and comfort. Same is for body roll. For some body roll, the softer suspension works. After that, it gets compressed, so only stiffer part works. Sometimes car is loaded more or less than the optimum, so characteristics of the car gets modified a bit. Like a single person driving in a big car can feel more body roll, 
and a softer suspension setup cause the suspension behaves softer at lower loaded condition. So according to the way you drive your car, the driving conditions in your city, you can swap out the springs in your car and put different one in them to make it perform better according to your needs. And if you have leaf springs in your car or truck, it is more easier to tune them. Spring has a characteristic that when the load is removed suddenly, it vibrates back and forth, which is not desirable at all. So for that, there is always a shock absorber in the suspension system, which dampens the spring vibration. We'll know a lot about it in the upcoming video. So for that, make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell for the update. And one more thing, we have started a separate short channel on YouTube by name Untangle Club Clips. Make sure you subscribe that too. Here's the link for it. And here's the link for our Facebook and Insta pages also. As a for now, I'm signing off and see you guys in the next one.